Torch, scissors, notepad and pen? Check. Boot polish, lucky rotten duck egg, and fake dog poo. Check. I'm going to get you back, Mr Kill, and then I'll get whoever took you. <laughs> Detective Henry always gets his man. This smells like an inside job. Dodgy Dad. But why? Henry! Henry! Ta-da! Henry! Oh! oh, 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 oh. oh you really are horrid, Henry! Yeah, Dad. You can run, but you can't hide. 4.35 p.m. Suspect cooking healthy food in kitchen. <gasps> no! Don't cook Mr Kill! Uh, what? You took Mr Kill while I was at school! And now you want us to eat him! Don't be horrid, Henry. Look. It's a chicken. Oh. And I was at work when you were at school. Oh. Suspect has alibi. Maybe Mr Kill left home. You're always throwing him around and stamping on him. Mr Kill would never leave me! Well then, look in your fort. Maybe you left him there. No! I didn't leave him. He was stolen. Mr Kill! Where are you? I'm in charge because it's my garden. Oh, then you're always in charge in my garden too. Well, somebody has to be in charge around here. Oh, yeah. Now there's someone who has a motive. Moody Margaret. She's always wanted to get me back. Is she going to be all right? She'll pull through. What are you doing to my dolly? You'll pay for this, Henry! Revenge and ransom. Two perfect motives. Moody Margaret kidnapped Mr Kill. Well, what's wrong with being second in command? It's not first in command, is it? Ah, oh, yes, but it's better than being third in command, believe me. Oh, no! They're burying Mr Kill! Oh, we could both be first in command. That's a stupid idea. Oh, that's it. I'm going home. Well, that's why you'll never be in command. They'll pay for this, Mr Kill. Time capsule? Yes, it's supposed to stay buried for a thousand years. I was looking for Mr Kill. You took him. I wouldn't want your smelly old Mr Kill. Now get out, you're trespassing. But someone stole Mr Kill. Good, maybe he'll have someone nicer than you to play with. One... Breakout! Why does this always happen to me, Fang? Oh, I suppose it's not the sock's fault. Or is it? No, nothing. Come on, Fang, we're done here. if I'm not doing it properly. <sighs> All right then, Henry. Thank you very much. Can I...? 
Yes, all right. I'll call when tea's ready. Look, no hands! <laughs> Henry! Henry, what's this? It's a sock. That's right, Henry. A sock. And where do you think I found it? At the bottom of the laundry basket, underneath all the other socks. That's right, Henry. Yes! So? So where's the other one? The other what? The other sock, Henry. Oh, for goodness sake. I was watching that. Not anymore, you're not. No more TV for you until you find the other sock. It's not fun! And now it's time. Number notes detected. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? The doorbell. Who is it? How should I know? Oh, not much of a detective, are you? Oh, so sorry to disturb you. <laughs> Chrissy Polly, vomiting Vera, and the number notes. Could things get any worse? Turns out Prissy Polly had an emergency situation. It's an emergency situation. Really, it is. Oh, the beauty salon said they could fit me in if I went right away. My mum said I could do with a little helper. <sighs> Says. I'm not deaf, 
one. Mum says you've eaten all the tickly treats. What? I didn't eat them all. Aha! So you did eat some of them. Well, anyway, there are none left. And now you're in big trouble. Mum found the empty packet on the counter this morning. We didn't eat them all last night, did we? <coughs> Henry! I don't care if you only opened the packet. Someone has eaten all my tickly treats and all the evidence points to it being you, Henry. Your tickly treats? Yes, Henry, my tickly treats. The only treats I ever buy for myself, which is why they are hidden at the back of the cupboard. Ah. And if I find you taking my tickly treats ever again... All right, all right, I know. You don't have to tell me. Go and get dressed, Henry. Right now. It's so easy being me. I'm Now, you understand that this afternoon you will be representing the school and any bad behaviour will be severely punished. You don't have to worry about me, Miss Oddford. Hey, Margaret, we're supposed to take one each. Can't. Pull the muscle doing ballet. When I'm king, I'll never have to carry anything. I'll dump these bags, then I'll be off to the park to read my Mutant Max comic. Hello, I'm Margaret, and I bought you our donations from Giving Week. <laughs> Aww, it's much as lovely of you. So, uh, we'll be on our way then. <laughs> What's your rush? Come on in and meet everyone. They've been waiting for you. But love to, wouldn't we, Henry? <sighs> so, my name's Chris and I'm the senior care worker. <laughs> Caring Chris. This is the day room where some of our residents like to sit and read or play games or just, uh, <coughs> chillax. Are you Ron? Are you Olive? Wrinkly Ron and old Olive. <laughs> Margaret, perhaps you'd like to finish your tour with Olive. Come along, dearie. We girls have to stick together. Now, Henry, what shall we do with you? Well, you know, I should be going, so uh, thanks for the tour. Go in? Oh, no, no, no. I thought it would be so lovely if you and the residents could... Uh, Chillax for a while. What? Are you Frida? Are you Sharash? Are you both chillaxing? Uh, 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 what? This is Henry. Eh? Henry, I've come to read to you. I can feed myself, thank you. Here you go, Henry. Enjoy. Enjoy? The Complete Book of Thimbles. This has got to be the most boring book in the whole world. No, it's not. The most boring book in the whole world is the Encyclopedia Know-It-All's Bumper Book of Thimbles. Oh, let's get this over with. The earliest known thimble dates back to Roman times and was discovered at Pompeii. <sighs> This is what I call reading. Mutant Max versus Robozoid. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I just wanted to ask, why is he a mutant? What? Max, why is he a mutant? Because he's mutated. When when the mutant gas... Oh, I don't know, he just is. How come no one sees him going in or out of his hideout? We just don't, OK? Turn the page. I need to know how he escapes from Robozoid's death ray. Now, now, what's going on here? Mutants? Roboloids? Robozoids! Well, whatever. 
I think that's quite enough reading. Oh, you mean yes? Time for some entertainment. It's so easy being me. I'm Operation Espionage is go! So, it's all happening Saturday afternoon. Yes, we've got a new CD. What are you up to, Henry? Clothes peg? So, it's on Saturday and they've got a CD for it. Hmm. I'm just off to the shops to get, uh, the things we need. Aha! Operation Espionage is back in action! to let you know that Stephen and I would be delighted to attend the party on Saturday. Uh, OK. Rich old Ruby and stuck-up Steve? Oh, trust Mum to organise the worst party ever. You Eureka! That's it! I'll organise the party myself! Operation Espionage just became Operation Party Planner. Number one job. Customise the presents. Saturday's cancelled. Oh, what? Now invite the people I really want to come to my party. This is going to be the best party ever. It's so easy being me. I'm Which reminds me, you haven't paid me today. Yeah, OK. What am I paying you for again, Margaret? You're paying me so you can be my Is. 
are. Who the real enemy is. Ah. Uh, you are. The real enemy, Susan. Ah, boys. <laughs> Let me tell you how it is, sister. Girls rule. Girls are cool. Down with boys. Girls rule. Girls are cool. Join up all the dots around here! 